And when somebody's on the mic, please give us your full attention. Give us all your energy, and we're going to give it right back to you. So right now, welcome to the stage. Google him. He's got like 10 pages. He's a, he does a whole lot of amazing things. He is a friend. He is a mentor to me. I hope he's inside. He is. Give it up right now for Rage Almighty. Dreams of raindrops. I chase storm clouds until they turn to snowflakes. Rain dance, magic spells. I've subscribed to all superstitions. Gather every umbrella I can get my hands on, turn them upside down, and make them wishing well. I deliver each one to your doorstep with all the spare change I can find. This is the exact moment when I realize I'm insanely in love with you. Cause I want your dreams to come true just as much as I want mine to. Play hide and go get it with tomorrow. Let your future find you in a failure. Whatever back into this equation. You know what? It's cool. Take shelter. Make your game plan. But I'ma stand outside and wait for the next storm to come. And when you're ready, we can cup our hands together and create your story, my story, our story, and his story, and let all the false stories fall down the drain because they're below us. But before it soaks into the ground, I want you to look down and smile and see that your beauty at your worst is your beauty at your best. Beauty full, flawless, and if I could bottle that smile, I'd use it when I can't find mine. And when you can't find where you're going, or feel unconfident in your path, maybe I'll draw you the biggest umbrella bag with a sponge in my hand, ready to get to places that you can't reach, which means I got your back. Yeah. And the pool of dreams, greatness surrounds you. With the pool of dreams, I'm behind you, I'm beside you, I'm wherever you want me to be. I'm just making sure you stay wet. I'm making sure that you see the you that you haven't seen yet, or the you that I see. And I'll even tell you a secret. Listen, the same drips that can make ripples in a puddle is the same drips that can make waves in an ocean, which means even the smallest amount of faith goes such a long way. I just want you to believe. I, I just want you to go so far that I can't see you no more. So far that your dreams and the horizon are the same length because baby heaven has no roof and I never want to see you dry. As long as dreams are raindrops, because the dreams or raindrops that maybe you and I could hold hands and slow dance in the middle of a hurricane until a gust of wind blows us away. But this ain't the way it is, but we act like it is because you give me heart, I give you courage. And together we make brainstorms in the form of raindrops in the form of dreams. Shit, we don't call each other by our names because one of our names will change. I'm tired of writing you love poems. I want to live your love poem. I want to remember the day we walked a tightrope of friendship, fell on accident, and landed on purpose. I'm not your man. I'm not your friend. I'm your forever. And since I'm your future, you can just call me tomorrow. show once a month, so make sure that you Google Rage Almighty, be his friend on Facebook and find out everything that he has going on. So, if, let me, I just want to mention also, if y'all been here before on a Friday or Saturday night, you know this place is packed wall to wall. People come here and celebrate birthdays, anniversaries, and all that, so we can do that on Sundays as well. So, does anybody in the house got a birthday tonight? This month? Anybody got a birthday ever? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, when is your birthday? Is St. Patrick's Day stuff coming up? Well, happy birthday. You didn't bring no cake, no balloons, no nothing. Well, all right, so if you, if you want to come back next Sunday, we'll celebrate your birthday. Is that all right? Okay, yes. Yes. Who, Anita or Danielle? 
Is it the end of the month? Okay, so you got a birthday coming up. We can go ahead and plan for it. Celebrate right here at Southern Open Mic, right? All right, give it up for the birthdays this month. And keep the energy going for the next poet. I know he's ready. Give it up for Alex Bookerworth Bailey. Uh, what's good, everyone? How's everybody doing? As I understand it earlier, so I was, I guess, highly pissed that, uh, let's see, Miss B. Randall had her in the words of a sister show, yeah, in fact, still got some pent-up aggression, I missed that one, for real. How, how was it? Great! Oh, okay, well, I guess y'all would know, y'all was, well, y'all was in my <laughs> See, that's why I hate y'all. Y'all got to be there, and I didn't. So, but not, but in the words, of, in, in the uh, spirit of that, um, let's see, something, something, something for women just to show that, you know, we as brothers care about you sisters so much. Thank you. Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, inspiration behind this one was uh, there was a photo on Facebook where it was the, uh, where it was it was a sister carrying a brother after he had been wounded that they had the red, white, blue flag or some ish like that. But yeah, they <laughs> carrying him like a wounded soldier over her shoulder. You think she? Walking hunchback, carrying him on her back, but she has his back like scoliosis and like Moses. His blood, just as the Red Sea has parted his skin due to the sins of white men. Yes, the white has yes the white has shed red, giving the blues to those of darker skin hues as they have been abused with bruised egos. But we know the black woman has been our hero since being in this land. So it's because of her that we stand. Was, for she won't let us fall, after all. To women like Queen Nzinga, Harriet Tubman, and Angela Davis, please take this as a token of our appreciation for being our cornerstone and backbone in this situation in this American nation. We are the head, but you are the neck. So as Wu-Tang saying, we best protect our neck because it's the only way to keep our heads on straight. Black woman, thank you for holding us down while wearing your crown and when necessary, carry the extra weight. First, I gotta give people extra special attention to go first. Like we already on the third poet, and y'all like to shine and shit. So I mean, y'all to get over that. Okay, you can't, you can't just, you know, want to get on stage but not want to get on stage at the same time. You can't go left and right at the same time. Am I right? Okay, so I'm not looking at the list. I see somebody standing up. He came in last, but he's about to come up to the stage. So show some love right now for me. I didn't, I didn't know this was like a Justice League theme month, but uh, we got Flash, Batman, I'll go with my Superman shirt, man. Not that quick. I, <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Okay, uh, yeah, as Monica said, I'm always ready to talk, so you just brought me on that. We'll do something I've done a few times before at uh, Southside, but hopefully you like it. And uh, this is kind of the theme of Alex and uh, the boy Ray. Just the mental image of you has me strumming old Texas blues tunes in the middle of my living room. It's me and the melody of your memory jamming to an electric groove. It helps me to reminisce over the effect of your iridescent presence which you left like the scent of an unforgettable perfume or a pasture of lavender in full bloom. You are the ancient rhythmic dance to the beat of my djembe drum. Every fluid movement of your body tells me a story that you are supernatural. A jealous moon must get two phases just to match your fullness. Your spirit embodies Friday's energy, sociable, sensual, seductive. You love for the scorching hot love, you love for the scorching hot fire that can 
engulf any man's desires. And I am totally, totally adhering to your flame. Your smile. Your smile is my world's first ray of sunshine over a distant horizon. It is as though God is blessing me every time that you're next to me and I'm counting every blessing. And the rest of creation knows about you. Every one of the leaves and the trees uses the wind's breeze to applaud you. Sparrows and blackbirds bicker for days on end just for the privilege of singing your praises. And why not? You carry yourself with the type of majesty found in a queen from one of antiquity's dynasties. By day, a vision of every man's imagination. By night, a silhouette unforgettable in one word, memorable. The unbelievably free, revolutionary demeanor of a Kathleen Cleaver. With the forward-thinking intuition of a Shirley Chisholm, you define strength in a system. This Western man's societal system could never get hip to your full definition because he could not understand that you are just the newest version of the first person to ever leave beautiful footprints in the sand. And I am ready to walk with you. Can I walk with you? Peace. Everybody has to say, but I've heard him out in Fort Worth Slam quite a few times. His queen is always right, by him, right there by his side. So show some love right now and welcome to the stage, Chris! Assalamu <laughs> alaikum, how y'all doing, how y'all doing? You see comfort in this world, I don't need it. Because I sure in this hell don't feel it. But I guess that you could say that I have been blessed with the ability to deal with. I once got that confused with fulfillment, but then I realized that it couldn't have been fulfillment because I had fulfilled spit. Yeah, I become a man, hey man, but I am a living and breathing only. And ain't no man, gin, or woe man gonna get me to deviate away from the foretold plan, inshallah. So if you feel the need, feel free, go ahead and try to identify me. But just know that I am an entity with only one identity, so the majority may find it hard to identify with me. You see, I have never experienced the feeling of being a living being inside of a comfort zone. Because seeing what I've seen and being what I've been, well, oh, my comfort's gone. I feel like I'm in a prison home. A prison that is trapped, praying for freedom, yet struggling and striving to become a better slave. You see, I no longer yearn for the burn of sunshine. I am now content with refreshing rain because I've learned that there's purity in the waves. Because without friction, there is no movement. Without movement, there is no progress. But you see, movement without purpose leads to chaos and distress. So you can keep your false sense of independence if you feel as though my worship is enslaving me. Because I guarantee what you do not see is that this slavery is what's saving me. Because I know that your emancipation comes at the end of man's suppression. Using man's deception to play on man's obsession to surpass reflection. Because in order to revolve, man must first evolve. And I'm not talking about making the transition from a primate to a man. It's to have the resolve to know that we dissolve, you know, make the transition from premature state of mind to a man. So you see that square groove? I don't fit in it. And that box, I won't think or live within it. And in these past few minutes, I hope that we all now realize that I am too well-rounded for them to force me up in it. So if you feel the need, feel free. Take out all your frustrations. But I'll live my life on my knees if that's what it takes for me to die in prostration. You ask why? It's my faith that gives me the strength to face my faith, whatever the cost. I only came here with one soul, so if you take everything else, I ain't really lost. So I'm all able. And welcome to the stage, Kiss! Show some love. I'm in a situation where I
the sun that brightens your light. I am the wind that blows you away. I am the tears in your eyes because I'm gone. I am the tingle when you rub your head. I am the thing you close your eyes to see. I am the reason your toes pop. I am the reason your nipples fall at the thought of a leap. I am the I am your ass tighten up anticipation of my smack. I am the reason your clip get hard. I am the reason your body craves my touch. I am the reason you shake when we're not having sex, and I'm the reason you shake when we do. I'm the goddamn you speak up to your friend. I'm the reason your baby becomes an ocean. I'm the reason. Goddamn to speak up to your friend. I'm the reason your bed becomes an ocean. I am the taste of cum on your lips. I am the gentle kiss that sends chills through your body. I am the walk on the beach. I'm a moonlit sky. I am the sunset. I am soul food. I am a glass of wine. I'm the blunt that gets you high. I'm the reason you come home early. I am your vibrator. I am your toy. Uh -huh. Who am I, you may ask? I'm pleasant. Ladies and gentlemen, give that one more time for Kiss and his very first song on Open Mind. And sometimes we call first timers virgins. And why do we love virgins? Because they're always excited. There you go. So I invite you all, find your pen, find your voice, start wherever you are. There's no rules. You can learn all that stuff later, but just whatever's on your heart and mind that you want to share, this is the place to do it. So show some love for kids. And welcome to the stage, one of my favorite poets. He comes out to support. He brings his friends and family. He tells everybody we go and support him. Show some love right now for Bucky. I'm trying to keep my feet on the ground, firmly planted. Yet I've been spending a lot of time with my head in the clouds. See, this all started a while back. It was a Friday. I found a lucky charm as I was taking the long way through the fields of hopes, fears, and dreams when something caught my eye in the grass. Far down, lo and behold, I found a green clover, so I bent over to pick it up, and to my surprise, I realized my shoe had come untied. And I grabbed that lace and followed it to a red string, to a red balloon, and floated up and up and up, and then fell under pillows in the sky, and I then saw a yellow moon, and the man in the moon wanted to sing, and I said, please don't. That song will get stuck in my head, and Mr. Moon, everyone knows you're not really from Italy. But it didn't stop him. He sang, when the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore. And then that cheesy bastard popped my balloon, and I started to fall back to reality. <clears throat> and I tried to wrap my mind around something to stop it, but I couldn't stop thinking about my death, so I took a much needed breath. <sighs> and I opened my eyes, and I snatched one of the pillows out from the sky, and I slid the cave case off quick so I could flow, also very slow, to parachute myself down to safety now. I have never held on to something so tight in my life, and I have never had keen eyesight with the things I saw that night. Well, God, God must have been holding a spotlight from a skyscraper in heaven, because I saw, well, I saw people erratically, manically moving like fire ants, getting incinerated by sunlight through a magnifying glass, being held by a curious child who looked a lot like much myself at age seven, laughing uncomfortably, uncomfortably loud to himself out loud, and strangely enough, I started to laugh at myself, question myself, second guess myself. What am I doing? I am one of those fans, but I am up here and they are down there. But aren't we all searching for the same thing? Living and breathing, building colonies, working as workers, trying to live lives, looking for that right? King or queen? I mean, is it my place to cause pain and suffering in someone else's life and magnify it for my own pleasure? No, it is not. 
Absolutely not, because we are all equal. So I told myself to put the magnifying glass down and do unto others, and you know the rest, and if you don't, just please do your best to be the good person your mother raised you to be. And the next thing I knew, I was exactly where I needed to be, but I was looking at me, staring back at me, and the seven-year-old me reached his hand up to me and said, hey, I'm James. And I took his hand in mine and I said, hey, I'm Bucky. And he put his finger over my lips and said, shh, did you hear that sound? Confused, I said, no, James, I didn't. He said, Bucky, your feet just hit the ground. Thank you. to me. I knew fear, restraint, and cover-up. And even though I don't wear makeup, oversized clothes serve the same purpose. Baggy pants and unwired bras, low-rise heels and knee-length skirts were my cover-up. I had decided that my body shouldn't be free to be seen, and I left everything for the imagination. When men pursued me, I confused their attraction to my insecurity as an attraction to modesty. But I learned Men that prey on the weak-minded can sense a lack of confidence as sharks smell the slightest blood and by vast oceans. Mm. See, the weak-minded have a way of engaging the like-minded with the confident. Distract you from their imperfections by letting their personal qualities shine brighter for you to see. Our psyche has a way of making us ugly or pretty, and sexy is an undefined force of nature that will only be what I decide it should be for me. So I rethink my sexy and I see how it applies to me. My sexy is an understated method of madness yet overcoated beauty, a subtle sweetness when you least expect, a soothing breeze to heat stroke next. My sexy is a big booty who knows how to be a lady, to be seen graciously and not heard. See, this big booty won't clap unless I'm celebrating love, won't twerk for the world, but will work for her lover. See, my sexy is in my audacity to when my heart has been broken. To be humble when my pride has lied on my personality. This sexy is in my intention to love man as best as I can. And my sexy is not some fool's layaway plan to accept when he's ready. I'm ready and it's time to be flawless about my flaws. It's time to hold my head up higher than ever before. To be uninhibited from the fear of unacceptance. It's time I demand my happy, command my sexy. To be what you think it should be, but it's perfect for me, and I'm convinced that that kind of confidence is sexy as hell. And this is one of our very faithful performers. I love his smile. I love his work. Show some love right now. Put your hands together for a hood poet. Yeah. 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 Get this right first. Yeah, yeah. Just take this off. It's for you, my man. This is some new shit right here. New shit! I'm kicking it for you, so. Thank you, sir. It's for the ladies. Um, this is called Deeper Than Sex. Let me make love to your mind before I touch your body. Let me tap on your mental complex before digging my erection deep inside of your warm, wet, awaiting flesh. Let me intrude and invade your mind while you wishing my hands touch bases with your instant gratification spaces. As I whisper sweet thoughts into your ear, your soul will quiver while your legs shiver. Your spine will tickle and tingle while my hands still have not touched your body. Bringing you to a mental and physical orgasm of basic conversation and wordplay. No sexual interaction, just mental stimulation has your coochie dripping and anticipating the feel of my throbbing erection. What I call God's greatest blessing. See, this is deeper than sex. This is the art of love making at its best. 
watching your eyes roll in the back of your head while your nipples come to life like they just won the heavyweight fight in the first round. Do you follow now? Slow breaths escape your mouth while my words penetrate your brain cells and your body is begging for me to come and take control physically, but I have already, mentally. The warmth of my mouth takes away your breath slowly while thoughts of neurotic and passionate sex runs through your mind while my words dance up and down your spine as your eyes lock on mine. It's like the magic just pops. The smell of your perfume lingers in my nostril as my nose passes the base of your neck. Slowly your hands reach out for my body and your flesh feels like silk in my hand. Time for the interaction. Your lips is like tangible, I mean are so tangible and kissable, looking like two freshly cut pieces of peach fruit. Tracing the outline of your lips with my tongue, feeling the softness of your kisses and the gentleness of your tongue. Why does inside my mouth does magical things to me? As we embrace in each other's body, it's like magnetic lights go up inside of my head, telling me your body was made just for mine. Confliction, confliction between yo. Hold on, I just messed up. Let me see. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Confliction between your dripping put confliction between your pussy dripping and my erasing has me tempted. But this is more than sex. I want this to be a night that's remembered. Like it was our very first or the last one all in one. And at the end of this, you will vision the phenomenal love scene being played over and over in your head, like an old ass projector screen. You will rewind and replay this mentally. Going back to the most intimate part of this movie while our moans of satisfaction will play throughout this room like sweet jazz tunes. And the rhythm and motion of our body will harmonize together like the, I mean, to the beat of the Osley Brothers in between the sheets. This passion and love making goes deeper than sex. This is deeper than me just putting my penis in between your legs and massaging, massaging your vagina back and forth faster than a jackrabbit until I ejaculate. Hmm. I'm going to go out on a limb and I'm just going to say this right here is faith. Because this is deeper than sex. Hey! That was Hood Poe. I chose love one more time. Woo! And we've come to the part in the show where we have a featured artist. So everybody who I've called up so far has come up and done one piece. But we have a featured artist. That person is usually, you know, has, has, has had some experience in the community as an artist professionally performing that may or may not have some products and she does have some products. She has an album tonight with her that's called I Thought You Knew. Okay, she, I know she also happens to be working on an album called Live Love Dream. And she has featured about a year ago when Southside was my first start. I told some of y'all already know we've been through several venues. We just had our one year anniversary. We are grateful to be here in 2015. We've been at here at Southside, I mean, here at RL's Blues Palace. So give it up for the Blues Palace for having us. We got plenty of room to move around. We got people serving us. James and Renee, like I said, make sure you take care of them. Mr. RL Griffin himself is at the door. Spider the Blues Riders, our DJ on the ones and twos, so I just gotta show some love for the house because we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. But what afterwards? afterwards. Okay, and after this, if, okay, there's all this equipment is here, not just as decoration behind me. There is a live blues band that plays here on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday nights. So after we finish this open mic here, the band is gonna get down. If you've heard it before, you already know. If you haven't been heard it before, you definitely want this in your life. We shut it down all the way to 12, 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. However long they're playing, me and B are out here just on the dance floor tearing it up. So you make sure that you want to stay here and hear what they're what they gonna do. You, want, you definitely want the house band in your life, okay? That is the thing that you want in your life. But right now, I'm going to bring you the feature. Let's see. She has been performing just since 2006. I thought she went, went back further than that. You know, I only go back a couple of years. She goes back to 2006. And if y'all know Ray Efa, is he in the house? No? Okay, he's not in the house tonight. But if y'all know Ray Efa, he was the one who invited her and first brought her to the stage. So she's been doing this since 2006. She is a host. I've been to her open mic events. She's an MC. She has a phenomenal voice. She sings and she's a poet. She's a hip hop artist. And she and I have had this conversation. Some of us can hear stuff on the radio that's called hip hop. <laughs> And, you know, everybody's entitled to their opinion, and we can all get to like, like and not like whatever we want we like, but some of us understand the roots. 
and the community yes. and the struggle yes. where we come from. Yes. So when she and I say hip hop artists, what we mean is someone who understands where we come from. This is the voice, our voice of our people and our struggles and our expression, you know, to resist the powers that be and so on and so forth. So I'm not gonna get on my soapbox right now, but I am gonna welcome to the stage this lady. Lady Peace Smooth, show some love. So we're gonna keep this thing moving, you heard? I got something to say right quick, then I'm gonna go into this piece. I just wanna build it real quick. These It was some nominations that came out. I ain't stepping on nobody toes, okay? It was some nominations that came out right quick. Now, Lady B. Smooth does not care about accolades. I do this because God gives me words and I have the ability to give them back to you. And I'm thankful for those. And I'm thankful for the people who think that they need to acknowledge me with an award. So here was the messed up part about the award and the nomination. I'm a poet. I'm a spoken word artist. I do some other things to make some money. Okay? And all times, this is what I do. I get nominated as a spoken word DJ. I haven't DJed in more than four years. And he, so if I say he, y'all know. But he had the nerve, and I guess he thought that it was okay, and he was giving me something. That he was putting me on, the, on something to give me something. When you speak back to me, you give me something. But right now, I'm going to spit this piece so he knows that I'm a poet. So anytime y'all see this person, y'all will find out later. Y'all let him know I'm a spoken word artist at all times. This piece is called, and what? Say it with me one more time. And what? This road to the sex gets long. Watching people around me and seeing that they phone like Monopoly money. And the whole time making you think they sweet like honey. See, people dislike who they know nothing about. They're cowards. So on me, they send their pawns to scout. Now realizing that this queen has the game on lock. See, I move with precision and gold. Giving these nothing artists on their toes. Girls know they are not supposed, but that's like quitting. So I'll keep spitting that real. Self-consciousness. Rhyming fears that they forget they had, so I tell you how to deal fear. Watching others only spit to win the cash prize. Uh -oh. When the reason what? that I spit is to see the emotions in audience eyes. See, I do this with hopes of keeping spoken word alive. This always spitting for money is like living a lie. See, I encourage other artists out there to be like my homie audacious. And remember why I write. See, I know it can't be because of the fame, because in this poetry game, having fans like the hip-hop stars, see, that doesn't quite work the same. See, you have to feed them from their souls to their brains, making it taste like a drug running through their veins, mixing in dashes of comedy mixed with pain. See, this is how you entertain. And the very reason that all the venues that you spit at are the same. See, my pen won't stay still. And with these poetic foes, egos are killed. Mm. Willing to do the show that you turn down. Why? Because I know my skills win crimes. <laughs> Moving through the audience experience with my lyrical abilities. Spitting rhymes that'll set you free. Keep watching as I step on stages, daring to be me. And what? And what? I'll never get it through. Y'all still feeling good? You're gonna be all right. Cause when I, all this is off the new album, okay? So, trust me, you want the first one so you can be ready for Live Love Dream. It's on my shoulder. It's on my, it's on my own. Live Love Dream, baby. Next piece is called, I Be Hip Hop. Cause I Be Hip Hop. If y'all can sing and stuff, y'all can groove with me, okay? Cause y'all don't know some of these hip hop songs, all right? All right. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm saying this again. All right? All right. Yeah, I'll make sure y'all was still with me. You know what I'm saying? I rock rough fit tough with my Afro bust. Hey, Super sonic, sonic, sonic. Yeah, that was it. Hey, supersonic, sonic, sonic. Yeah, that was it. But now there's no real 
troops. Just embellish the designs of 28 inch rims and 40 carat chains. All right. Teaching all I see is what they think is the game instead of all the things that seem to cause hurt and pain. But how some of them without this music, their lives wouldn't be the same. See, I be hip hop all around the world. Same song. Yeah. Hey, we hey. on a world tour with a mic in my head. I'll be the child that lay playing for better days. Tired of watching how her daddy's stupid ways affected an innocent child at play. Mm -hmm. And at times she swears she couldn't stay. Tired of watching her mother's tears, him leaving their cover bare to the pen, then back again. A cycle that doesn't end, causing bruises where the elbows bend. The very reason that I push this pen, see I be hip hop. One love, one love, all we really need is just one love. One love, one love, all we really need is just one love. So we elected Obama with greater hopes of unity. You see, I still live in the South, so some white folks still only see the nigga in me. Uh -huh. See, we are people who have been deprived of, we've been fought for, and we've won is who we be. See, I be hip hop. All I, all I allow the streets to raise their sons. Wow. See, I'm trying to help them see further than the sun. See, hip-hop has been filtered and replaced with disgrace. From the generic loop dash beats to them knock off Louis that they were at their feet. Mm. See, real hip-hop attire starts with boots so that we can stop loudly through the hood and mend our roots. If I rule the world, hey, hey, <laughs> I free all right and giving you real music to guide you through this thing called life. Why does I be hip hop? Woo. Thank you. I'm glad y'all enjoy y'all sit down. Loosen up, you know what I'm saying? Loosen up. So we're gonna get into this next piece and this is my last piece and then y'all gonna take a break and I come back and I got some other stuff for y'all. Oh, I ain't do. Beneath my 
my skin lives the secret that a little girl carries on molestation. Number one is it calls embarrassment or shame. So she walked around as if nothing changed, forcing a smile through her pain. Until one day, a strain that became. So she forgave herself, but she was never the blame. And now, what's beneath my skin? I wear proudly on top. That's beneath my skin. I just want to say real quick, I'm very proud of that piece. There was a documentary title beneath my skin, and the director called me and said, I want you to write the title piece. I said, you want me to write what? Nice. She said, I'm doing a, a documentary. And you're the first poet that I thought of, and I want you to write this piece. I had never wrote like that. I don't write on topics. If anybody knows how I don't write on topics, I just don't, because God is good and he allows my pen to flow. And she said, write it. I said, okay, and this is the title piece to the movie. When you're watching the documentary, the documentary is called Beneath My Skin. You hear my piece come on throughout the entire movie. I am the narrator, and that piece narrates on. Wow. So I am honored that this is the first time this movie came out this past June. So I thank you guys for receiving it. And I'm glad that you like it again. It's going to be on the next album, Little Love Dream. I'm praying it'll be out in May, Jesus. I'm praying it'll be out in May. But pick the uh, first one up if you like what I'm doing now. It's only $7, and I'll see y'all second second. Only $7. Then we'll be back. Okay, so go ahead and mingle amongst yourselves. One thing I love about promoting about Southside with Mike is that we are a family. You know, we, we started out small, we're growing, and I'm grateful that we're growing because I want to reach as far as we can reach. But what I love about Southside Open Mike is that we are family. It's not just the poets who know each other as Facebook friends and, and all of this, you know, each other's real first name and all that. Make sure that you, if you see somebody across the room who you don't already know, introduce yourself, take some pictures. Just hang out with that person, ask them some questions, get to know them. So DJ, go ahead and spin some music. We're going to mingle, we're going to mix. The bathroom's right over here. We can smoke outside. I need a cigarette because I'm all out. So if anybody got a Newport or any kind of menthol, please come see me. But we're going to go ahead and come back in just a few songs. Thank you. Make sure you come see Lady B. Spoon right here at her table. Just $7 for I Thought You Knew. What? Sing with me, y'all. 
said I'd rather be with you. Oh, 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 oh rather be with you, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, 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 oh. said I'd rather be with you. I'd rather be with you till I'm through. Yes, I do. I'd rather be with you till the day fly away. I just want to see your smiling face in the morning sun. Oh, and if I can't have you by my side, girl, then life's no fun. Oh, oh, oh. Different, so 
think I'm gonna choose this one. It takes more than a woman curvaceous disease to gain attention from someone with intelligence. Even though there's clear evidence that my hormones go into a range of action when I see such elements put together in unique elegance. But if I can't connect with you intimately, then all of this excellence will be irrelevant. Though my actions share similarities of celibacy, it's not that at all. It take, it's just that I understand the mental function of a woman that a male should have taken to assumption that our action is a, no more than just a consumption of lustful cravings. I see more than just a human to satisfy my sexual needs, but a partner who heals and motivates when I'm on my knees. A partner who has the potential to create seeds of our next generation. All right, that's it. Um, I'm not calling this person right now, but D. Alfred Jones, if you are still in the house, please come to see me when I sit down. But I want all y'all to show some love for the next person on the open mic. Go ahead and show some love. Clap her up all the way to the stage. Give it up for Cassandra! Sagittarius, there are two of them coexisting for the sake of one. The human part feels too much, loves too hard, trusts without thinking the cost. The animal in me longs to be free, pick up gold to who knows where, run the world, find a grassy knoll where the brook can get lost. One wants so desperately to belong, fit in and have a family. You know, she still believes in fairy tales. The prince charming happy ever after ending. She believes love is beautiful, and simply, you should just give yourself, she said. Bitch wants to be left alone, close the world out until she has an itch that can't be reached. Then bitch wants to mingle with others. Bitch has seen so much hurt and pain, heard so many lies. Bitch plays the game and even changed the rules. Bitch is elusive, unfulfilled, so broken, teaching her pieces to dwell and exist. See, fairy tales died so long ago. Happy ever after may not come on this side of heaven. And bitch says, that's okay. Come on. She cries often. Love is heavy and has weighed down her wings. Bitch kicks the bed and say, wake up, fool. Nothing comes to a sleeper but a dream. She hopes and love wants to know if it's really true. Bitch laughs and point out and say, give it up. Love is not for you. So we stand, staring each other down. Who gives up and who presses on? It's hard for me to decide this because I don't think either part of me is wrong. That was Cassandra's second time on the mic, so show some love one more time. And welcome to the stage, King Shakur! Hey, you guys doing that? Uh, I want to say shout out to Lady and Lady B Smooth. Uh, she came out to the Teen Summit yesterday. What? Happy to have her there. And, um, Tell them you know, what that is. Uh, uh, teen Summit, they have it um, every other month. We have that um, Bay Nash Recreation Center over there. Free the Streets. Free the Streets. Yeah. Yeah. My man Joseph Nelson now. Big Mama from um, Soul Food came out yesterday. Yeah. She did um, poetry for the kids. It was incredible. You know, she's 82 years old and she was, man, she was incredible yesterday. You know? uh, but we had the poets perform out there and it was, the kids really had a great time. So um, it was really dope. And I just wanted to, um, April 25th was my book release. Um, it's at um, 7, 7 p.m. It's at the South Dallas Culture Center. So if you guys in the area, please come out. It's free. I'm taking donations. All donations go to um, youth. Creative writing programs in the in the South Dallas area. So, yeah, all the money goes to the you know. So, y'all came about my book too, like yeah. Yeah, yeah. Book release coming up. Yeah, if y'all still read, you know. Word. I don't know how to read. 
No doubt. I got an audio book too. You can you can listen to it. You know. Morgan Freeman is reading that shit on Amazon for you know, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Nah, 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 no pictures, no man. Dots, no dots. All the ladies I wanted to put in there, I wouldn't sign the release, so I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do this poem. Uh, I didn't know what I was going to do. I just wanted to come say hello. An Anika requested that I do this poem, so I'll do this one. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm poem. Can y'all hear me? Yeah. When I was growing up, as a child, you should always tell me, Oh, you're so cute. You're going to be a little heartbreak when you grow up. So I, I've been breaking hearts since the first sight of my pubic hairs. Soiling panties while pulling hair. Because my cousins told me real young, hey, nigga, now the man took the taste of that bear. And shit, I wanted a buffet plate. So I was being nice, opening doors, pulling out chairs, and pretending to listen on dates. But all the time, my devilish ass just wanted some ass. Because I was trained real early, like I said. Hey, this your nigga. Pussies and this bad thing to cash. So I was holding up women's hearts like robbers held up banks, convincing them to open up their legs as if they were vault doors. And whether it was the bed, the couch, or the floor, or the back of my mama's car, didn't matter to me, you see. I just had to have it, because I'm a heartbreaker. So I'd be like, come here, baby. Let me nurture your dreams. Whisper love into your ear, make you feel secure by doing things that most men won't do. Yes. These feelings are true, but just know, I'm going to cheat on you. Not out of malice, I just never master monogamy. Don't want the tears, don't want the pain. I guess it's just a tiger in me, or the judge ever's in me, or the man does in me. Yes, I tell you responsibility, but you see, this is what I was groomed to be, a heartbreaker. Not a good man, not a good father, not a good husband, not even a good lover. I was told, you get you. And if that bitch got money, you get that too because we don't love these hoes. So with Snoop Dogg, Uncle Luke, and my cousins in my brain at 12, I decided I was going to be a player. And I've been breaking hearts ever since, collecting tears and panties along the way. Never allowing myself to be tied down because my mama told me, like some of your Robinson's mama told him, Son, you better shop around. So I did with her credit cards, taking her credit card dates, taking her credit card dates, and the only thing I was giving out was broken promises, hard dick, and bubble gum, and an occasional kid from unprotected drunken sex. Hey, this world made me a heartbreaker. So what do you expect? I break hearts and create broken homes and broken communities and little burdens of broken me. So the future, the future promises to have plenty of heartache and pain and destruction, kind of like a hey after earthquake. Oh, oh, and prisons, prisons are filled with heartbreakers just like me. And because of my heartbreaking ways, our women have the highest AIDS and herpes rate in the country. And, and uh, us heartbreakers, we come out of school at a long race, so shit, the streets is filled with heartbreaking dummies. And we steadily killing other heartbreakers, steadily breaking the hearts of our mommies. And the crazy shit is, We've been breaking hearts for so long, we've convinced ourselves that we was created to be destroyers. So we take pride in breaking everything that we touch apart, when in reality, we was created to be creators of love, of community, and of nations. But our heartbreaking asses is in a sleepwalking coma, not realizing that we are breaking God's heart. Thank you. And that was a wonderful poem, really speaking the truth. He's a good man. Don't, don't, don't get him wrong about the poem. He's really a good man. So, And if you don't already know, um, AIDS Walk South Dallas is happening next, sun, next Saturday on the 21st. So Team Volition Unlimited is on board. If you don't want to be on the team, that's cool. But AIDS Walk South Dallas, like I said, is happening next Saturday on the 21st. But go ahead and show some love. Welcome to the stage. The next person on the open mic. Give it up for D. Alfred Jones. understand that I'm about to get my Gil Scott Heron on tonight. Oh. Can I take my time? 
on this stage tonight. I'm kind of feeling sexy, you know. My wife bought me a new fedora, you dig? As I look around the room tonight, I see so many talented and wonderful people. I've bought many CDs and looked to buy your book too, my man. And I wanted to say something. I want to leave something in your spirit tonight. Turn it up just a little bit, DJ. I want y'all to realize that you can accomplish any and everything that you want in life. But, check this out. Come on. We've got to put doubt on a diet. He's been eating way too much. He's been eating everything from self-confidence to that faith-related stuff. Now, I've even caught him sprinkling salt on decisions that I make. I said, man, that's the last straw. I will reduce your intake. So I mapped out a strategy. In other words, developed a plan to starve all inhibitions and reestablish command. But Dow wasn't trying to hear that. He said I wasn't sincere. But just in case I meant those words, he's calling his cousin Fear. Now Fear, when she made her arrival, said, I'm not in no good mood. What's all this talk that I've been hearing about? You won't give Dow food. You've been feeding Dow since high school. Or maybe even before that. Your hopes and dreams are skinny. But look at your dad, he's fat. And therein lies the problem. I told fear to her face. You make it sound like doubt's my friend. You both are out of place. You held me back from growing. And you staggered my success. Fear said, we only made suggestions, mister. You did the rest. Come on. I hate you both believe this with everything that I've got. Uh, Doubt smiled at fear and reminded her that he ain't got a lot. No doubt you've been successful influencing my past. But no doubt this won't continue. Today, I store your fast. Alex, check this out. Your full course meals are over. And tell your cousin fear. <laughs> Courage called me earlier. And he'll be over here. What's wrong, Dow? Fear, are you leaving? So you're walking out the door? That's right, she said. Now you tell Courage. We don't live here anymore. Check this out. You and I, we've got to put doubt on a diet. Can I get my scat on tonight? Shada do 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 twee. Shada da da da. Shada twee. Shoo do twee. Down. I'm through tonight, y'all. Thank you for listening to me. D. Alfred Jones, representing Oak Cliff. Like I said, there is a house band and they get down. So as soon as we finish up with this open mic, they're gonna get on stage and do their thing. And I promise you that you want to stay for this show. So next person on the open mic, give it right now for Anita. I know Annika loves this one. Yes. <laughs> it's titled Nasty Time. Ooh. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Put it down. Hmm. Gonna learn today. It's nasty time. It's time for bump and grind. It's time for my hormones to get out of line. It's nasty time. Freaky things on my mind. Now lay down. 
and let me ride your dick. I'm not a magician, but I have a few tricks. See, I'm gonna make that bitch vanish. Excuse me if I'm a little too manish. But I have nasty time, and I got some nymphomatic shit on my mind. This is not romance. I'm just trying to make that dick tap dance on my coochie flow. And if you do it right like Niagara, I'm gonna flow. I'm going to flow. No, it's not time to go hell. No, it's nasty time. And see, I got some pornographic shit on my mind. I'm trying to give you a few swimming lessons. How to left stroke, right stroke, flip my thick ass over, then back stroke. Wait a minute. to get a few doses of it. See, it's nasty time, and I got sex chronicles on my mind. This is our personal take. Just push play fast forward, never stop, pause, then rewind. We will be refilming until the sun shines. See, it's nasty time, and I got fuckonomics on my mind. In my stage is my mattress, no need for rehearsal or practice. Wow. <laughs> it's nasty time. And I got love and lust on my mind. My name is Math, and I'm about to show you some addition, some multiplications and division, some subtractions, breaking your fine ass like a big ass fraction. So do you have a watch? Do you have a clock? Do you have a grandfather that can chime? Because I'm going to need you to know what time it is. Baby, baby, it's nasty time. <laughs> Following that, I need you. No, number five. I'm gonna need you to talk to my woman. <laughs> I ain't lying. I'm gonna go home tonight and tell her something. What time do you get home at nasty time? <laughs> oh, yeah.
got some pipes and want to sing, get with this band. They got an open mic. If you want to sing with the band, if you know somebody who might want to sing with the band, on Sunday nights they have a wonderful opportunity. They got some regulars. Rage. I want to sing with the band. Hmm. Anyway, we're going to keep this open mic going. Like I said, if some of you want to, you want to, you definitely do want to hang out for the band after this. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, let me say this right. Right now, we're bringing to the stage, I am Will. You can lose a lot of money chasing women, but you can never lose women chasing money. What? I was on the freeway one night going down I-35 and I made it straight right. I was going a little faster and as I got nearer, I noticed this tree was in my mirror. And then when my car stopped, I realized it was just my incense. Wow. That's the kind of shit that goes through my brain. When I wake up in the morning, the pain makes me insane. But then I say to myself, God gave me this life. So why is it up to me to try to cut it as if I was a knife? Mm. I could sit here on this mic and spit all kind of absurd verbs and profound nouns and just because I think I'm filled with poetry and just because you think you might know of me. But the reality is, I'm just like you. Except I may be a little bit off my rocker. I may not have all the cheese on my burger, but I can, I can tell you one thing for certain, I'm still a person. I came from the slums. I came from the streets, somebody said earlier, from Oak Cliff. But back in them days, they had guns that were fun. They had dope, they gave them hope. My mom was whack because she smoked crack. My dad was gone by the time I was three. So the only thing that was left in my life was my sister and me. But in my life, pain is love, and love is pain. So when there's nothing left, there's only room to gain. I take my kids, they look at me and they say, Daddy, what did you do today? And I simply tell them, I fed you. Right. My friends come to me and they say, Will, how was your day? I say, I'm cool. That's no need for me to brag. Although the pain in my heart sometimes makes me sad because friends become enemies, and enemies become frenemies. So who can you trust? But in our life, we feel like a friend in our life is a must. But I'm here to tell you, you need no one but yourself. You need no one but your family, and trust me, you need no wealth. Sometimes you don't even need a car. The best thing you can have is a bus. The best thing you can do is wake up in the morning and thank God for your life instead of complaining and trying to fuss. I hear so many people complain all the time about their parents. I just wish one was alive. But I'm here to tell you, there's another day. Because when I became a man, I put down the toys. And I said to myself, I have to become a man because I'm no longer a boy. I have to treat my woman like the queen that she is. I have to give her everything that she wants. And even when she asks me to go outside and scoop up the snow and the trash and clean her car, there's no such thing as don't and won't. When I became a man, I realized foolishness had to go and I accepted the God in my life. I accepted the raise that he gave me. I accepted the heart that he gave me. I accepted the brain that he gave me because he was my God. Although my friends on the block say, you know what, you're accepting God that seems kind of odd. But I became a man when I picked up the gospel. When I picked up the gospel. Yeah, yeah. When I picked up the gospel. Mm. James 5 and 4 said, be swift to hear, slow speak, and slow to rap. My mother said, that's a fancy way of saying, shut your mouth and don't show your ass. <laughs> and that's when I became a man. <laughs> Hello, my name is Alec Velos. Come on, Alec. Um,
Oh, I was going to talk. I was going to say something. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, so like I said, my name is Al Palos. I'm 12 years old. This is not this is not the first time I've been here at um, the Blues Palace, and I'm honored that Miss Michelle has let me come again. And um, today my performance will be a tribute to Mr. Michael Jackson yeah. in honor of all his greatness.
right, all right, all right. That was a great performance, little man. Where are you listening to? I used to try to be Mike back in the day, too. So. But uh, this is the first poem I wrote. It's called Ghetto Love. I said I love the block I grew up on in my hood. The sounds of kids playing as cars, driving by, and loud music was all like sweet melodies to my ears. Summertime barbecues usually led to a fight after a long night of drinking and arguing. Well, Weekend parties was off the chain. That's where all the young niggas grouped up to meet all the hood dames and rep the blocks that we all claim. Growing up playing games like tag, Dean done, ditch, and hide, go get it with the shit. Back then it seemed like the ghetto was home and the hood was safe because we were all one and we all belong. And every hood had a big mama that helped watch, raise, and feed all the kids of the neighborhood. Yeah. Man, it was sweet. Yeah. Back then, you can get your ass whooped by your neighbors, and your parents knew it was all good, because it was understood that we were all bad growing up in the hood. <laughs> the good old days of ghetto love. Fist fighting with your best friend, then you back playing again. Just busting bottles and stealing bikes. I used to sneak out my house and hang out all night. In my hood, kids could stay out way past the street lights, and it was all right. Then was the good old days. Seems like where did those days go? See, my first love was a ghetto girl with big. Uh, my first love was a ghetto girl, a ghetto girl with big hoop earrings and a dookie rope. That's when all the po niggas wore S curls, while the other one was fortunate to have new bows. And we all had dreams to get away from the dickies and leaves upgraded to the cross colors and guest jeans. No more shirts with the alligators. It was real deal polos and Jolly C boots. And if you had a pullover in J's, you were somebody in those days. Huh, the ghetto was in me. I remember the first time I thought I had money. I stole a whole book of food stamps. I got ribbed at school, but I didn't care because where I came from, it wasn't no shame on being on welfare. I remember looking for the mailman on the first and the 15th because I knew a check was coming. And seeing roaches was like seeing dogs and cats, so we were all used to that. Yep. Remember a dollar at the corner store can go a long way back in them days. You can get a juice, a cake, a bag of chips, or 25 pieces of candy. And who could ever forget government cheese or eating at the church? Yes, Not to mention free lunches at CYD on 3rd Martin Luther King or Harambe on 4th and Wright. Back then, we were poor. I used to see my granny stealing meat off the stove. I even remember homemade ice cream with little snow, milk, and vanilla. Man, that was a reality. Back then, police used to hand out baseball cards instead of all this police brutality. Now, that was ghetto love. Where did those days go? That was Hood Poet spitting that real shit that we all know about. Make sure y'all turn in, tune in um, every other Monday night to Grassroots Salute because and my king, who I'm about to call to the stage, he is one of the co-hosts of that radio show at Deep Elm on Air. So if you can get to the internet and get to Deep Elm on Air, make sure you check him out. But show some love right now. Welcome to the stage, B Swift. Hey, yo, yo, yo. I represent the Sovereign Crown. Three points. You understand what I'm saying? Intellect, sorry, instinct, intellect, intuition. You know what I'm saying? You gotta keep your wits about you in this game. You have to be swift. My heart stay heavy, but my spirit always ready. My heart stay heavy, but my spirit always ready. My heart stay heavy, but my spirit always ready. My heart stay heavy, but my spirit always ready. No, not your average run of the mill savage. Mind obsessed with big dreams of living lavish. Reaching for that higher plateau out of the mental ghetto. Being for a means to solve this earthly riddle. Mind over matter, coming up evolution ladder. No time for no ego chatter. Illusions are made to shatter. Moving infinitely beyond these carbon copy peons. Who dream of seeing that name and lights up in that neon. Let go of the ego, keeping it cool like a gecko. Emerging from this bullshit that free spirit bevel. No shape, no form on this earth. A drunken master 
born while egos get tattered and torn, tossed in their karmic storm. Light footed, dark hooded, death of wooded arrogance. Nature's messenger, the ugly truth. Curry, yeah, no logic, no reason, no rhyme, no body, no mind, no space, no time. In the pure state, undefined, the intangible. Dropping lower mandibles when I speak. Flowing with infinite wisdom of these intergalactic beats. Assuming the spirit of hip hop while corporate pumps they flip flop. Turning rap into pop rock. MC's gone blood block. My heart stay heavy, but my spirit always ready. My heart stay heavy, but my spirit always ready. My heart stay heavy, but my spirit always ready. My heart stay heavy, but my spirit always ready. For freedom, all the fucking haters I don't see. And welcome back to the stage. Make sure you recognize Dallas Poetry Slam Verbal Orgasm. Give it up for Rage Almighty! I say feeling great, feeling good? Feeling great. Feeling good? Feeling good. Uh, um, before we, the, the feature comes up, I want you to clap for the feature. Let me show you how you're gonna clap for the feature. Clap for the feature. I hate that shit. I need you to turn up for this feature because I love this feature. You know, some people in Dallas, I follow poetry in Dallas very closely, and people, I don't know if people notice that, but I follow the history in poetry, and I follow Dallas poetry from the beginning because I was 14 years old. I first moved to Dallas, Texas, and then I was getting into trouble. I was stealing cars and getting arrested and shit. <laughs> And my cousin took me to a place called Reciprocity. All right. Yeah. And then I went to a place called Sankofa. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I went to all these poetry spots and I wasn't even, I had a fake ID and shit. I had to get these motherfuckers, right? Hmm. So then I saw these poets. But anyway, this poet is not like a poet from back in the day. But this poet that you feature is an awesome poet who has, who embodies a lot of great poetry in the world. Like, you know, music and poetry, they come together and this poet, that's your feature, stop. <laughs> this poet that's your feature is doing both of those, so show me how you're gonna give it up to this poet that's your feature after I do this poem. Yeah. Dallas poetry has such a rich history, and you know, she's involved in that. I'm involved in that. Annika's involved in history, so I'm gonna shut the fuck up. And I'm gonna do my nasty poem, and I'm gonna yeah. I do a show called Verbal Orgasm. <laughs> Some of y'all been to Verbal Orgasm before, apparently. <laughs> we turn the fuck up in Verbal Orgasm. It's nasty poems. If you want to hear bad words and, and you want to see naked people and you want to hear nasty poems. I just did a show Thursday called The Sweet Spot. where uh, uh, They came from D.C. and there was 250 people in this fucking show. Yeah. And, we, and we turned the fuck up. So... I'm gonna do this nasty poem. If you wanna hear more about verbal orgasm, come holler at me later. I got a CD. If you wanna buy the CD, that's great. But fuck it. Come on, there was a trail of ashes that went from the front door to the kitchen and ended at her feet. And she told me that by the end of this cigarette, the next thing she puts in her mouth is gonna be way more addictive. There's a universe beyond your lips that's molded from my galaxy. And when the gravity gets too heavy, these hands are made to grip your ass, astrology, and slide inside your space perfectly. The only thing between us is time and muscle memory. So tonight, I want to explore you like it's my first time on your planet. Okay giving life to feelings you thought were extinct until you come harder than the Big Bang. I want to recreate you tonight. <laughs> He's been this one of my shows before. Till you come harder than the Big Bang. I want to recreate you tonight. Because in our relationship, this is the only thing we ever did right, and you know what they say. Y'all help me out. Blues Palace, help me out. Some say the X, make the sex spectacular. Make it lick it from your neck until your 
shivering, some delivering, chills up their spine. Ooh, wait a minute. <laughs> Skip the wine and the candlelight. No cristal tonight. If I write with you, we fuck you. It better be. Deja vu, my lips start. Kissing up and down your scars. Eating you like I'm a star. If I don't suck your fruit till it ripens in my mouth, no sticks, stems, or seeds. Just a whipped cream stream that leaves my face sandwiched between two thighs. Guide my head just in case I get lost. Grip my locks like a life preserver, even though I'm the one drowning. Remember when you used to call my tongue Moses? Thank you. I will. Remember how I would fit inside your mold? I fit inside of you perfectly. I remember everything about this body. Every nook, every cranny, every landmine riddled with sensitivity. I know that spot that'll make you bend like a question mark. Feet curl like a balance beam, like a ballerina, like you just had a house fall on you, Wizard of Oz. I remember everything about this body. Like how you had two lips. That a mother pants off at any man with two eyes. Two eyes that a mother submissive at any man with two lips. I want you however you want me to want you. You want me in control and I will. Just lay on your back. Call me your trending topic. And I'll pound you like a hashtag. Rewind. Just lay on your back. Call me your trending topic if you're on Twitter, it's Rage Almighty. Call me your trending topic and I'll pound you like a hashtag. Nails playing tic-tac-toe on my back and the word no is buried deep on the damp sheets and in good intentions. We made a bed of forgiveness and had sex on the ashes of our failed relationship bent over, pulling you backwards in that pool of sweat in the small of your back I used to massage your shoulders and I ain't gonna stop until you find a new octave. Oh. And when you find the new octave, we're just gonna let it's going to stay there sticky, nasty, funky, sweaty, sticky. Did I say sticky? Sticky. 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 We're really sticky. Sticky. And satisfied. And when it's all said and done, we realize that we were better at lust than we were at love. Fuck buddy isn't a demotion, it's an agreement until we find a replacement. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get that shit tattooed on my ass one day. Fuck buddy isn't a demotion, it's an agreement until we find replacements. And when the glitter dims and the ribbons in the sky fade, we follow the ashes back to our separate places. My only intention tonight was to get you so wet that by the time you dry, rainbows form between your thighs. My only intention tonight was to eat your pussy until your spirit collapses on my face. My only intention was to eat your pussy until your spirit collapses on my face. My only intention tonight was to suck your insecurities out of you. My only intentions tonight was to change the way you walk tomorrow. But at the end of the day, I was just trying to stop you from leaving. Thank you. That was Rage Almighty. Like I said, make sure you get with every poet who got on the mic tonight. We all got something else besides this going on. We want to be your friend. We want to know you. We want to tell you what else we're doing. I'm about to bring back our feature. And while she is performing, I am going to come around and take a collection. It's for me and for her. Because I work very hard to get y'all here to promote all week long. She works very hard. You know, I choose features who I believe are worthy, you know, to bring you to a show. You know, y'all paying me. I'm paying her. You know, it's a, it is a business. But to me, bigger than business is people. So like I said, she's gonna come up here and bring you a few more pieces. I'm gonna come around. If you don't have anything to put in the basket, that's totally cool. So please, just like church, just give a blessing. Just please just give a blessing. So right now, welcome back to the stage, Lady B.
only got a couple more pieces. Is that all right? Yeah. This damn thing is heavy. Damn. Okay, my bad. That hurt my finger. <laughs> That much. Oh, so I'm gonna give y'all a little bit of it, all right? Yes. All right. This piece is called I'm Gonna Spit This. Come on. I'm gonna spit this. Take it. Hey, I'm gonna spit this. Take it. Yeah, I'm gonna spit